Today we're going to focus on recreating the guitar tone to Mr. Brightside by The Killers. They have kind of a famous intro guitar tone and it sounds like this. And today I'm providing two final result tones I got. One's with the Gibson 335, one is with a PRS Custom 24. So the Gibson 335 sounds like this. And the final result for my PRS Custom 24 sounds like this. Alright, so there's a few things we want to focus on when recreating this guitar tone. First we want to listen to the overall tone, like maybe what kind of guitar they're using, what kind of amp they're going through, do they have any overdrives, um, how many guitars are being played, etc. So let's listen to the original one more time. So right off the bat, you could tell it's more of a rounder tone. They have a hint of overdrive going on. It's not a totally clean guitar, but it's not a distorted guitar. So you just want that edge of breakup feel. And I hear one guitar going on, maybe a hint of reverb. And it's stated that he used an Ibanez Destroyer guitar in this recording through a Fender Hot Rod DeVille 2x12. And if you're like me, I don't have an Ibanez Destroyer guitar, and probably most of you don't, so I'd recommend just using a guitar with a humbucker in it to give it kind of more of a rounder tone, and my signal chain that I'm doing is going through a humbucker guitar to an overdrive I have that's out here called a J-Rocket Blue Note, just to give it that edge of breakup feel, and to a Fender Hot Rod DeVille and then I'm going to an SSL channel, then to a 1176 compressor, then a hint of EQ to get rid of like a high frequency I didn't like, and then to a stereo reverb, just to give it just a hint of a room ambient tone. I'll play the Gibson 335 for you, just to show you an example. And one really important thing when playing this riff, even if you got your guitar set up, even like a month ago one thing you want to focus on is that the riff is all the way down here and it's kind of a weird shape to play but when you're recording specifically get a tuner and even if your guitar is in tune on the open strings it's most likely going to be a little bit out of tune when you're playing up here so kind of a recording trick for session guitar players that we do is play each note down here and tune your guitar to the notes and that'll help just make it sound perfectly in tune it's a little bit of tedious work but the overall tone it'll pay off well so make sure you tune down here have a little bit of overdrive and here's an example of how it sounds through the Gibson 335 <laughs> So there's a quick example and hopefully you can recreate this guitar tone for your own. Use it for different songs too. You could use it for really any single note picking lick in a song that you like. So for future songs that you might play or artists you might play for. So just an overall review of this video. Make sure using like a humbucker guitar, have a hint of overdrive into a clean amp a rounder sound like a fender and then I'm going to an SSL channel an 1176 compressor a little bit of EQ and then a stereo reverb and make sure on parts like this tune specifically to the part not just the open strings so hopefully that helps and see you next time